Okay, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mr. Vormithrax, here. Let me, let me, let me press that camera button. <laughs> hey, let's play something different. Really different. Uh, welcome to War Pips. This is, this is War Pips. Um, early access game on Steam. Um, what else to say about it? So, I have not yet played it other than the tutorial. I jumped in, did the tutorial real quick, which is short and easy. And um, we're about to start into my first game. I'll kind of explain what's going on as we go. You can kind of see in the background there a little bit about what it's going to be like. Uh, it's kind of like a tug of war tower offense. <laughs> sort of tower defense, but more tower offense. Uh, MOBA game. You got you got kind of lanes and all that. You don't directly control the units generally. And it uh, looks pretty fun for little bite-sized chunks. So let's uh, jump in, and I know the music is kind of loud, it's kind of intended to be that way, so I'm not sure just how I want to balance that yet. Let me know in chat what you think of the, uh, the voice to music volume, and we'll, we'll fiddle a bit, but it is meant to be somewhat loud. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's jump right in, War Pips, we'll hit, uh, I'm not going to do the tutorial again. I'll explain as I kind of go along what's going on and how things work um, instead of spending the 15 minutes doing the early tutorial stuff. So we're going to hit game, new campaign, overwrite. Hey, zombie dog, you're on the wrong side of the chair, buddy. <laughs> Come on, back up. Get over here. Back up. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> oh... We'll go down a little more. A little more! Alright, we'll go with that one. So, game, new campaign, yes. We're just going to do normal. First time playing it. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Alright, army customization. Yes, we are the Vord. The Vorm Horde. The Vord. What insignia do we want? I don't have any zombie dogs that I can put up here. We got a sneaky snake. A lion, a bomb, a tank, uh, bullets with some targeting, a Pac-Man ghost, and a castle, or a rook. Uh, let's go with the bullet symbol. Do we stick with blue? No, no, no actual, no red? Really? Hmm. All right. Uh, it will be an orange bullet. Okay. All right, so that's the enemy. This is our starting base. That's the enemy base we're trying to get to and conquer. Uh, we can only attack adjacent territories to a territory we already control. This is what we're going to be facing in the currently selected territory right here. So we got pistol pips, weak low damage enemy grunts, war fighters, well-trained medium range soldier, and shotgunners, close range, high damage enemies. And then we get some rewards if we actually win. 15 war bucks. Some more war pips. Oil derrick, which gets us a little bit more money. And an oil barrel, which we can sell for instant cash. Uh, or we could switch to here. And we have a UAZ. Drops off groups of soldiers to the front lines with a few different wards. Drone swarm and barbed wire. Or this one. Tear gas tactician. Tactician support unit. Uh, there's also a difficulty factor mission info. Yeah, mission info. So it shows the map, shows the distance between, and has a difficulty rating. This one's rating four, and it also shows the the bar is the length of time you have to complete the mission. The sections here are where enemy reinforcements are going to be greater. So you get a lot of information, and you use this information to decide what you're going to take into the fight with you. Uh, I think these, either of these two, I think is easy. Yeah, that's only a two star. And that's also a two star. Six minutes, 100 meters versus eight minutes, 100 meters. All right, we'll do the, actually that one's got a, a heavy spawn right up front, does it? How about you? A little further back. We'll do this one first. Operation Halting Ice. Two difficulty, enemy spawn waves are a little further in. We'll probably, hopefully win before we get to that. Pips, warfighters, and shotgunners. All right, sounds good. That's what we're going to use, or fight against. 
Our loadout. These are the units we've got currently. These are the hot buttons or the, the units I'm going to take into the fight with me. Whatever you take with you is gone, so you've got to balance what you've got in your arsenal um, against what you're going to face. So you try to look at the mission info, decide what kind and number of units you might need to defeat that, and only take that many in. So you got to... If you take too much stuff in, the mission's easy, but then you've lost all that stuff compared to the reward. Um, so we'll go in with a war pip. The one heavy gunner. I don't think I'm going to take the heavy gunner. We'll just take the war pips and uh, one turret. Yeah, I think that should be enough for this first mission, probably. Won't take sandbags. Ah, so once you use them, they're gone. They're out of your inventory. So whatever I get for rewards, I have to use as basically replacements. And ideally, over time, I'll build up additional uh, units. And then depending on what the map tells me I'm going to be facing, I can bring more or less or whatever in. Heavy Gunner. 70 bucks. Takes up one slot. Powerful but slow. Armored infantry. Fires explosive ammunition. Has a plated vest. One. Increase the gunner's health. Plated vest. Two. Greatly increases the gunner's health. All right. So they got a lot of hit points. Uh, so that's our loadout. We have no money to spend at the arms dealer. We can't be buying anything. And we can't be... Uh, getting upgrades either. We have no war bucks. I think we're good. Let's do this thing. Howdy, howdy, everybody. Wexy Crutch, Eldrain, Under. All right, deploy. I'll try to explain a bit as we go. Unfortunately, there's no pause button that doesn't bring up the, <laughs> the escape menu. Not aware of one anyway, so I can bring this up, which pauses. But there's no uh, no keyboard options that I'm aware of. <laughs> if there's a pause key, I don't know it. All right, so we're gaining a little bit of money as time goes by. This is the enemy base. He released these guys coming my direction. This is my base. I'm trying to protect. I'm gonna let some more time go by. It cost me 25 bucks out of my 85 to summon units. Here, let's... Oh. Oh, it's that kind of turret. <laughs> I didn't realize what I was bringing. All right. Here, some of these guys. All right, it's on cooldown. It's overheated. So I don't control the units directly. They do their own thing. They'll try to find cover as needed. Uh, they should be fine for a while. Down here we have various buttons I can push. I've got four upgrade points currently. Uh, I'm going to spend all four of them to upgrade my units in general. This increases the abilities of all the units I have out. Man, this thing's inaccurate. Oh, I see. If you constant fire at the accuracy goes down. Oh, it's also based on distance. All right, well, that's cool. So it's less effective at extreme range. This accuracy number here is based on range, and then how much continuous fire it is. All right, we got a crap load of money. Let's um, increase the number of units I can have, which is this. And we'll just bring out a whole squad of these guys. Good old explosive ammo. So, when I gain experience up at the top here, I get these points, which I can spend up to use these abilities. I also have this button here, which basically tells my guys to rush the enemy. We get movement speed and accuracy bonuses. If I use that, it drains this ability, which is a find cover and defend bonus. So you gotta pick offensive bonus or defensive bonus. How we doing, guys? We got five out. All my pips are taken. 
Uh oh. Kill that thing. No, the wave is here. I was just too late. Get it. Get it. Finish killing it. Operation success. That's pretty much all there is to it. The big trick is it's going to get a lot harder as we go along. A lot more different units and abilities and upgrades and so on. So that's our rewards. Now we've, we've added these three to our, our equipment pile. We have a replacement war pip. An oil derrick, if I place it, we get amount of cash over time. And then an instant cash for oil barrels. All right, so now that we've taken that territory, we've opened access to these two. I can try to just straight bum rush this guy. There's, I'm trying to remember the consequences. I, I can build up my units and my, uh, my, my item supply by taking other territories, but the longer I wait to go after the capital, the stronger it's going to be. So it's either rush to it with less units, but it's weaker, or take time to clear all the other territories, then go after it, but it's going to be stronger. That kind of thing. Uh, what have we added? So, scared magnets. Shotgunner and a UAZ. We'd get a heavy gunner, a sniper, and another oil derrick. Sandbags, drone swarms, and mercenaries. Ooh, war mule. Drops off a large platoon of war fighters to the front line of the battlefield. Alright. Uh, what are the difficulties? I'm not sure what the bomb thing indicates. Holy crap. Oh, must be just a really tough, high value one. Operation Aromatic Shoes. <laughs> Definitely not ready for that. Heavy gunners, shield pips, absorb small arms fire, extra life. Pip pups spawns a swarm of anti infantry attack dogs. Your gas grenades. Fun stuff. This is difficulty five. Whoa. All right. Let's say no to those for now. I think we'll just go to the other easy one next to me. We'll just build up some, some units and some points. Uh, we do have some war bucks. We have 15 war bucks. So. We could buy a drone swarm. Launches a swarm of explosive kamikaze attack drones. Hmm. And it's 10 bucks while I'm in the mission to actually deploy them. And then it has a minute 30 countdown or a delay before I can activate it again. Stats and bio. Attack value, movement speed, no health, no weapon range. Targets infantry. Only targets infantry. Or I can take a mercenary in with me. What is the benefit of the mercenaries? Assault unit. Peeks out and attacks the enemy objective, so it specifically goes after the objective. Alright, light machine gun, soldier for hire. On two mercenaries for one supply. Oh, okay. Hmm. Might have to try mercenary sometime. I'm just gonna save my bucks. I don't think I'm gonna need anything special right now. That's. I wonder if that's more expensive normally. It says sale, so I wonder if it's like ten normally and it's half price or something. I guess we'll find out. But we're gonna save on or wait on that. Don't have nearly enough of the war bucks to do any upgrades. All right, let's just head into the mission. I think uh, my loadout. What shall we take? Ah, so it's highlighting the stuff that got added. Take our pips. Uh, I'm gonna save this stuff for harder missions. Don't think I'll need sandbags. Do I take this thing again? Let's try it with just pips this time. Let's see if we can manage it with just this. We'll save as much of our resources as we can. Operation Overwrought Horse! Alright, so I got no special stuff to drop. I'm just gonna wait until I've got 75 bucks, then I'll drop three pips at once. 
So this is my limit. I'm only allowed to have three people out. Three pips. Unless I... Oh, never mind. Uh, upgrade. Upgrade. And... Give me some cash. Oh, this one. So this bar right here, these, these show when the big waves are going to be coming. I'm going to save my money, let them get a little closer, depending on how these guys do. Ah, he got away right before the grenade landed. <laughs> no, don't sit out in the open, you fools. So we got two, two experience levels to spend. We get one more pip. Alright, here comes the second wave. Surprise, this guy's still out here. I'm gonna save up the XP this time until I get four points, and then I'll upgrade all the units. Hopefully these guys are still alive. Good grenade! Uh-oh, we're losing our blocking terrain. Good job. Come on, give me that next XP level. Everybody can get an upgrade. Get close. I want to try to finish it before we hit this next uh, big wave. Come on. There we go. All right, so now they're upgraded, so everybody's efficient, or everybody's abilities got upgraded. 200? 200. All right, bring out more guys. Hopefully this wave of my guys will be able to push all the way forward. All right, now we're maxed out. Could have been a little better with that grenade. There we go. That was an awesome grenade. <laughs> Took out the vehicle and like three of his units. I think we're going to push be able to finish it with these guys. Yeah, he's not going to get a reinforcement phase. So down he goes. Alright, so we got 30 war bucks. Got our drones. Our barbed wire slows and damages enemy infantry vulnerable to vehicles. Alright, no problem. Alright. Uh, the next new area is also way up there. It's only four. This one over here like to get a tactician into my roster. Damages any enemy, enemy infantry in an area. Okay. This one was for a fairly early wave. Pretty wide, 165 meters. Yeah, let's do this one. Alright, definitely taking a war pip. Um, shall we take a drone? I'm kind of curious how the drones work. Let's take a drone. And hmm. we're going to get the tactician. Yeah, I should probably leave him at home, but let's take these. I just want to see what they do. So the heavy gunner, lots of hit points. Fire powerful but slow, armored infantry, fires explosive ammunition. You can see the actual specific details. An assault unit allows deployment into an operation, attacks the objective. High fire rate, middle range, slow speed, high health, and high attack value. Right. Let's do it.
All right, so these two start with countdown timers. You gotta wait, wait those initial timers out. I'm just gonna wait, build up my points. Actually, I only need three to fill up my current squad, so. Go ahead and get those out while we can get them behind the cover. I think this time I'm gonna get to four and I'm gonna immediately raise the unit abilities. There we go. Alright, they've all now been upgraded. Unit ranks are up. <laughs> That's cool. There goes another one. Nice. My first three guys are kicking their ass. I may never even get the special stuff involved. Whether I use these or not, they're gone from my inventory, so I really do want to use them. Let's, uh... Wow. Got one guy left. Come on. Reload! <laughs> See, this is one guy can, can finish the round. Back up to three. Uh, let's increase our squad size. Oh, yeah. I want to bring the drone out. Come on, drone. Five more seconds. I don't know how this works. Do I, have to, do I have to click on somebody? Oh, apparently I have to click. <laughs> That's how they work. Ten bucks. It's an exploding drone strike. Oh, damn it. Bunch up, guys. Bunch up. <laughs> I can't get any drone kills. <laughs> Give me another level. I want to upgrade these guys again. Two left. Oh, didn't quite make it. 150, huh? Here comes the wave! Ah, too slow! I timed it wrong. Come on, group up. There you go. That's some value for the dollar. Everybody's max upgraded. Ah, we don't have any cover. I like it. Look at this guy. Pushing the barriers. That's, a, that's not where I clicked. I have a max range on my drones. I think I have a max range on my drones. Oh, well, maybe not. Uh oh. We got a long section here on this bar of um, no real enemies to worry about. We should be able to push through. I think we'll finish it with this group. So we got our war pit back, we replaced our heavy with a tactician, and we've added a tear gas grenade. 
and we got 45 war bucks. <laughs> um, what are we up to? Ah, just 45 total? Wow. Oh, well, we could get the arms dealer. Arms dealer slot three unlocks an additional slot for the arms dealer that sells money generating items. Oh, I see. So it would unlock yet another slot in this group. No, thanks. Oh, this screen. This is the arms dealer, not the upgrade screen. All right, so a third slot would open on this screen. Um, and it's specifically for money generating upgrades. Yeah, money generating items. All right, I can see how that would be useful. Um, five bucks to hire a mercenary or an RA-52 rocket. Low damage, dumb fire rocket at a random target. Automated belts. Slightly decreases reload time between salvos. One and two. So, long range, decent accuracy, high fire rate. Well, that sounds fun. I don't know how valuable these war bucks are. Hmm. I'm going to try to hold off on the mercenaries too, so I think we can probably still deal with this. But that's the first three maps they gave me. What are we up to? Only four on this one. I think I could do this one with my current units as well. Stimpak heals all infantry, doubles their health for a short time, and a sniper, long range precision shooter. Up against pistol. Yeah, the Pistol Pit, the Warfighter, and the UAC. Yeah, no big deal here. I think we can do this with our basic stuff. Be fun to get a Sniper and a Stim Pack into the mix. Oh, and two Mercenaries. Yeah, let's do this one. Uh, I don't think I need anything special for it. We'll just go in with the War Pip, of course. Do we take the... Nah, I don't think I need any support for this fight. What about... Sandbags? Extra defense points? Yeah, let's take some sandbags. And... I want to see what this looks like. I think we're good. Operation Kaput, baby! <laughs> Alright, we started with two. Um, let's go straight to those upgrades. So he's sending four at me. No problem. If I get to a hundred, which we will before he gets close to me, I'll drop four of these guys. Or I can drop this right away. I don't know the I don't know the delay here. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah, I missed it. Alright, everybody get on the get on the wall. <laughs> That's triple triple grenades. <laughs> oh, I wonder how long that cloud stays there. So when I highlight the sandbags, notice the little yellow dots. Those are the positions where I can deploy them. I'll just drop some, some, some green smoke way back here. Even if I don't get that crowd, I think it'll, it'll get reinforcements to come through it. That is a lot of guys over there. Enjoy! Yeah, that's what I want to see right there. Bring those reinforcements through. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> now there's a problem. Oh, I'm immune to my own my own gas. Well, that's awesome. We've inoculated ourselves. Wow, we almost got guys. Look at that. We actually got a hit on the base. They are not going to get hit by that. Uh, let's get an upgrade done. And get me some more cash. And a full full squad. Alright, we're coming up on their reinforcement period. Hopefully my grenades are ready to go before we hit their reinforcement. No, we're not gonna be ready. <laughs> 
Damn it! I saw that thing there right before all my squad huddled up on that sandbag. Well, that's kind of rough. Uh, well, this is not going to go well. Nice grenade fire. That helps. Oh, I need to upgrade the cash button. That's what I need to do. I didn't realize. There we go. Now it's 75 per use instead of 50 per use. Good to know. Alright, I need to try to win in this next little lull period here, so I need to stack up some cash. We'll have our gas soon, too. If we can hold them just a little bit longer with these units. Bring out a full group, drop some gas ahead of them to take care of these guys, and I think that group will be able to push forward. Nice. Ah, caught out in the open again. Come on, gas. So close. I just need this guy to stay alive long enough for me to drop the gas in there before they get moving again. Look at that crowd. Give me one more kill. One more level. Come on. Kill him. There we go. Alright, max upgrades. Bring the squad. Alright, we're in the last section. I need to finish it in this section. I don't want to hit this, whatever this is. <laughs> so, I'm going to save the uses of my... The one use of my gas. I need some cover here in the middle. Eh, I guess I don't. We marched right past it. Drop some gas right into their reinforcement zone. And I think these guys might finish it. We're close enough. They'll finish it if he doesn't bring anybody out right now. Yeah, we're good. Oh! 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 <laughs> Damn it! Wow, he must have got some real, real serious hits there. I was so close. Well, that sucks. So close. We're like two, two shots away from finishing that thing. And he killed four of my guys. I wonder what the uh, recharge timer is on those grenades. God damn it! Blew up my squad again! Uh, now we're in trouble. Now I might have a problem. Uh, it's not really a money problem. I need you. Alright, big ol' squad. You guys need to finish this. What killed my last group? Was it a... Uh... A grenade they fired, or was it like an environmental thing, like one of these barrels? I didn't see what actually got rid of them. Lucky nade, huh? No, don't stand behind the damn barrel! <laughs> Get away from that thing! Alright, can't upgrade the units anymore. I guess I'll just keep getting money. Alright guys, come on, we only need a couple shots. <laughs> That's all we need. Alright, we're up to 60 total war bucks. Two mercenaries, one sniper, and a stim pack. That means I didn't get my, my war pip. I didn't get my war pip returned to me. So I've got two war pips. Now we've also. Oh wait, no, those are the mercenaries. Yeah, the one war pip, two mercs, one tactician, and one sniper. 
max range, max web, max accuracy, max range. Good damage. Targets infantry. Does not attack the objective. All right, so it's anti-infantry. Cool. Slow fire rate, though. I don't care. I don't want your fluff storyline stuff. Thanks. Just let me let me look at crunchy numbers and shoot stuff. Um, map time. So again, do I push for their base? What did we unlock? Oh, ouch. I don't really have much in the way of anti-vehicle weaponry currently. 